always taken an exception to movies that say based on a real story and then have so much fabrication that you can't tell the difference between what's fiction and what's not fiction. One of the main tenets of the American Film Company is accuracy, historical accuracy. It would have been very easy and much easier for us to have used an airplane, you know, the Grumman Avenger, a Texas trainer, something that several of which actually exist, but we are really using the actual you know, Douglas Devastator plane, and because none of those exist, we are building uh, the better part of a Douglas Devastator from scratch. My name is Bruce Lockwood, and I restore vintage World War II airplanes. There were a lot of unusual airplanes that were developed between wars. The Devastator um, was historic in the battles that it fought, but I think it was uh, you know, a tough airplane to survive in. Performance was lacking. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of brave men that flew it and didn't come back. All right, that's a cut. I heard about this project from my dad, which was working on a uh, historical fighter. It was interesting to build a model out of something that doesn't exist. And here we are now building it. The first thing I worked at was scaling down some drawings with the assistance of Corey. You can see it right here in its prototype form. The second was then to find all the documentation I could on the basic um, side profiles of the airplane. Sitting in the Devastator is a pretty terrible experience. <laughs> it was not built for tall, for tall men. So I know me and Garrett Dillahunt's knees are crammed into uh, every open space possible. It's always hard to make an airplane that's, you know, 100% authentic. So we had to basically go through and figure out what parts of the airplane were important to be in the shot. And those details were, you know, were made as 100% authentic as we could. After we're done making it look brand new, I'll sit in there for quite some time with attention to detail, a little paint bottle and paint scratches on things and, you know, exhaust marks and make it look authentic. We're really going to great pains to make sure we're sticking to what the story really was of these, of these three men.